in this session i'm going to take you people into the topic of the virtual memory let us stay focused because this virtual memory concept is an intersecting concept in between computer architecture and operating systems so if you can understand this virtual memory completely you will be able to answer any questions okay and i am going to give you the architectural perspective of the virtual memory okay how it is going to be treated and how it is going to be perceived how it is going to be realized everything we are going to understand at the core of the architecture so that even you will be able to you know um, solve any of the operating systems questions so for that let us stay focused <music> here let us see first of all understand what is virtual memory okay now i want to understand the term virtual memory okay what is virtuality virtuality is like illusionary we will think that there is something like that is existing but actually in reality that won't exist right similarly virtual memory is is a virtual memory which is an illusionary memory okay and in reality it will not exist try to understand what it is what is existing in the illusionary uh, aspect and why don't it is existing in the real aspect let us stay focused now okay i will i will tell you that there is a secondary memory let us stay stay focused that there is a secondary memory of the system the secondary memory is equal to 1m i do have a 1m secondary storage so the secondary storage requires 20 digits for address right 20 digits for address i do have a main memory that main memory is let us say 32k 32k meaning i do require 15 address digits so every time being a programmer when you want to use an address your address must be equal to 15 digits not 20 digits because you know that the secondary memory is not available right for a programmer secondary memory is not available if programmer wants to use any address that address must be equal to 15 digits so he has to generate the addresses which are equal to 15 digits whenever he is writing a code of programs whenever he want to design an address part he has to design the address part with just 15 digits he can't design the address part with the 20 digits because the available main memory is equal to just 32k okay now you just keep on writing the programs with the 15 digit address okay but sometimes in some advanced computers this programmer will given will be given an illusion that the total available physical memory is the secondary memory of the system okay that is the programmer will be told that you do have 1m main memory what is 1m 1m is not main memory okay 1m is just secondary memory but the programmer will be told that there is a main memory which is equal to 1m available in the system the programmer will be told programmer will be given an illusion so the programmer will be encouraged to construct his address part with the 20 digit okay every time when he has to use address generally he has to use just 15 digits but now he will be using 20 digit address because he is told that the total available physical memory is equal to 1m okay so he started constructing 20 bit address rather than 15 bit address rather than 15 bit address but what is the actual reality do we have 1m do we have 1m second uh, main memory 1m main memory is not available the actual main memory is equal to 32k the reality is just 32k illusionary is 1m so he believed that his main memory is equal to 1m and he started constructing with 20 bits okay so once after the program has been written then the address references will have to be sent to where main memory only right 
taking this 20 digits you can't go to the secondary memory because the access to the secondary memory is strictly prohibited because i told you the access ratio if you could remember our access ratio is 1 is to 7 is to 7 lakhs right if all it takes is 7 clock cycles for accessing a word in main memory it will take 7 lakhs clock cycle to access something from the secondary memory so access length to the secondary memory is prohibitively long so cpu directly doesn't access secondary memory so either it could be the physical address or a virtual address whatever you construct that has to be accessed only through main memory this concept is called virtual memory in which the programmer has been given an illusion that the total secondary memory is available to him so he uses 20 digits when 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 he constructed addresses by using 20 digits finally this 20 digit address has to be located in the main memory which just supports 15 digits so the programmer will have to translate this address to 15 digit address the address which is equal to 20 digit which is referenced by the programmer should be translated to the 15 digits which is actually available in main memory okay so this process is called virtual memory okay now let us understand the several things of the virtual memory before we actually enter into the in depth knowledge of the virtual memory okay here as it is told virtual memory is auxiliary memory to the main memory that is programmer thinks that the total main memory is the, the secondary memory but the physical memory is just main memory right so the translate program generated address to the main memory location here in the case the program generated address is 20 digit by the programmer it has to be translated to just 15 digits okay so this virtual memory system is going to translate the word the, the address which is generated by the programmer which is equal to 20 digit to the available 15 digit physical address then the total virtual memory system gives the programmers the illusion that they have very large memory even though the computer actually has relatively small main memory right the virtual memory system provides a mechanism for translating program generated address space into the correct main memory locations while the programs are being executed in the cpu program generates virtual address this virtual address is just virtuality it is not reality in real the actual address available at the main memory is 15 so the virtual memory system provides a mechanism for translating program generated addresses to correct main memory locations which are equal to 15 digits while programs are being executed by the cpu okay now before we get into the details let us stay focused what are the terms that are needed to understand here in this session we are just going to identify the terms okay we need to understand what an address space is okay and we need to understand what is a virtual address we need to understand what is a memory space and we need to understand what is a physical address and we need to understand two more terms in addition to this those are one is page and one more is block Okay, so that process, we're going to do it in the very next session.